Hey, what is up you guys? You're watching Team APS. In today's video, we've got two special guests that have never two of us. ever been in a video before. Yeah. Calvin in his hat. Yeah. So, in today's video, we're going we to share the five th Well, they know who uh, he uh, is. Uh, <laughs> He's in every he video. Rude. I'm Amber and this is Trill. <laughs> Hi, Amber. The first five things you should do when you start playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Any new player, when they get started in this game, sometimes you don't know exactly what the first things you should, you know, really kind of get familiar with are. That's where we're going to help you. The first thing you should do is find your locals. Or see if you have one. Yeah, I agree. How can they find the locals? Any, any volunteers? Actually, we found ours through YouTube, but I feel like YouTube groups, Facebook, uh, even like people who you may know that like once played the game. Yeah, Reddit actually is a good place too. It's, yeah, it's easy to find like uh, Facebook groups, you're right. And the official website does have a list of, you know. It does have it. Tournament sanctioned places, although that won't always include, you know, your local place. For example, the place where we are here, it doesn't actually. We're not, I don't think so. Like, we're not sanctioned, so. Yeah. Not anymore. But if you want to find a shop, you do have to kind of go out of your way. And if there's not a shop around you, then you kind of have to start a community yourself with that open And turn a friend house and play there. That could be your store of locals. Or yeah, a college. Actually, it happens a lot. But the colleges? Like, yeah, colleges, know, that's true. That is a very... If you can't find locals, colleges, they will meet up there and play. For sure. For sure. What is our next tip? Trill doesn't have his notes out. Watch so, your ass. <laughs> the next tip. That should be number two through five. Get supplies. Um, yes. I think that honestly, the I can't count the amount of like first time players who don't actually have like sleeves. Sle get you some sleeves because yeah. it's, it's already an investment playing the game. Yeah. At least invest the extra sleeves. And get you some a sleeves. binder, you know, that helps. Not the, not the not like, the you know, the, the, you know, the cheap Pokemon binder. Get you a good one. Ones. Um, you know, a playmat. A playmat helps for sure, and uh, also a good deck box. Just kind of the essentials, right? Like those are the kinds of we. Because I'm saying like, like I said, it's, not, it's really an investment. So like, just go ahead and invest the extra twenty thirty dollars and get you stuff you need to protect your cards. Yeah, for sure. Because like then your cards get damaged and then it makes playing really complicated little things. So. And they get the little them little weird brown spots on the back of the cards and stuff. And they still I hate nasty. those weird brown spots. Then you can't show for right no weird more. Weird brown spot. Yeah. So and yeah. He called you a mole. <laughs> More than, more than, more than. <laughs> I, um, yeah, so I definitely think that getting supplies is good. Um, if you can get it from your local card shop, that's even better. That's a good way to support your local community, you know, instead of just buying it all online. That's why finding your shop is the first tip. Yes, so definitely do that. What's our third thing? To research the game. Because again, you're investing, so you should at least see, like, if there's a ban list out so you know what to spend your money on. For sure, for sure. For sure, though, for sure. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> get out of here. Research the game. Yeah, research the game. You need to know, like, not just what's banned and what's not, but also just what's good and what isn't. You know what I mean? Because that's a because I mean, first time play. well, if you're just, just playing, it might be more for fun. So it's like research different cards to come out. What you think you may be interested in playing and stuff like that. Just talk. Oh, hey, Calvin. I stopped just so y'all can focus on power trying to get Trying to direct over here. He's a moderator. I don't work for you. Troll, so what's the fourth tip, huh? Wash your ass. Two through five. But, uh, <laughs> I'll take this one this time. Um, you should wait to buy cars. If, you, if you're somebody who's new in the game and you're just starting out, it's probably best not to overinvest. Um, as they said, of course, you want to buy sleeves and, and binders and things like that to protect your cards. But you never want to overinvest because you don't exactly know what you're wanting to do with it as of yet. Even if you want to be competitive, uh, you just don't want to put too much money into it because you may not feel like you're getting, you're reaping the benefits of, 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 of all that in the beginning. Um, especially nowadays, we do so, there's so many reprints and so many new little subsets and things coming out. Yeah, so it's easy quickly. to get mixed up. Yeah, so you just kind of want to look, you know, take a step back. And it goes back to what they said about researching the game, just knowing what's out there, knowing what the meta is, knowing what's fun. Finding out what your play style is, finding out if you want to actually be a player or just a, a collector. And so then once you actually come to fruition with the decisions of those, then you can invest in the game more. So. Yes. Completely agreed. Um, and also, you know, with Yu-Gi-Oh 2, the more stuff you buy, like the more committed you become. So, mm -hmm. you know, you don't want to get into that life too fast. It's a, <laughs> it's a scary place. Um, and the last tip. 
What is the last tip? Get to know people. Just like how I got to know Paul. Yeah. That's actually how I met. I found my locals and then I got to know Paul. Cause he actually found his locals through me. Yeah. It's like I pat yourself you on, on the, the back, why don't you? You get I to will. know people. Like you you I don't think anybody really just wants to like play the game by Playing you go alone. No, no, no. Yeah, that's You're going impossible. to want your little clique, your group, your gang, so. Yeah, it definitely, you definitely need to know make it a friend group, a support group. It really does help. Um, I always have said, you know, we've said in a lot of videos before, if our friends didn't play, it. You know, just be be I just go back to stripping. Yeah. I go back to watching him strip. And I'd be the one recording it. So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> This is awful. So, um, yeah, but another thing, don't just have friends, but I also think that it helps to, you were saying earlier, you know, not make enemies per se. Oh yeah, this was this was when he was trying to moderate before the video. Yeah, right. make some, some rivalries when we, good. when we had um, you teams, you, yeah, you remember that? it was fun then. Like the competitive spirit made it so much fun. It's like, you had that respect, but at the same time, I want to kill I want to kill you beat your ass. Yeah. And so. it wasn't personal or anything like that. You know what I mean? It was I all think it, competitive fun. The competitive spirit is like, because if Yu-Gi-Oh! is just kind of played for fun the whole time, then like, that's not, like you gotta have somebody to actually beat in the tournament. You know what I mean? Yeah, like I'm, it can't not, The game beat. can't advance if it's just for fun all the time. It really can't. Yeah. And you know, also not only that, but if you have a group of friends and then you're facing another like group, then like, it's not just you and the other guy. It's now like, and your you team is. You gotta rep your team. Yeah, which is really important. And honestly, you'll notice a big drop off in a locals when that type of stuff isn't present. At least I would say. So. Make the game more enjoyable. Yes. So those are five things that I think every new player should do when they first start. You know, this is all before even really like picking a deck and you know all that stuff and like getting all these cards and playing. So yeah, should be very helpful. I would say. Yes. I think it's great. I think it is. All right, uh, that's the video. Hope you guys liked it. I hope it was very informative. What might they do if they liked the video? If you like the video, you should like it. I like it. I <laughs> like it. If you're subscribed to this channel, you should unsubscribe and subscribe again. <laughs> and then tell a friend to subscribe. Yeah, that'd be great. And that'd if you great. got something you want to tell us, you should tell him and he'll tell us for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, but um, leave us in the comments. Let us know what would you do to, uh, you know, what would you tell a new player they should do before even getting cards, before getting a deck? Um, wear deodorant? Wash your ass. Wash your ass. Anything like that? Buy a Team APS yeah. shirt, maybe? I don't know. Product placement. Yes. So, Shameless. that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We will catch you guys in the next video.